Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Today we are talking Chevy Cruze and we're working on a PCV valve, also known as positive crank ventilation. And we've already got the old part off. Unfortunately, because of the engineer design, the actual part itself was not serviceable. What's that mean? In order to replace that PCV valve, we had to order an entire brand new valve cover and replace that valve cover. In this video, I wanna show you the actual internal valve itself. So let's head to the actual valve cover and take a look. All right, YouTubers in front of us, the old damaged PCV valve that is connected to the actual crank or valve cover itself. A couple tools, I've got needle nose pliers, the nice pliers at an angle. And I got this little pick that I got at AutoZone. Let's focus on this part right here. This is your valve and See that little square opening? In the event, while this piece is still connected to your engine and your engine is running, if you come in here and slide your finger over that square hole, in the event that it makes a loud suction noise and the actual engine starts bogging down, guess what? That means this internal valve is damaged, most likely ripped. So what I wanna do right now is I want to grab the pliers this is a very difficult part to remove. What I'm going to do, I'm going to end up breaking it, believe it or not. I'm going to peel away some of this plastic because I want to show you the internal valve itself and what it looks like. And hopefully we can find exactly where it's damaged. And as I break this top plastic piece, I want to be very careful because I don't want to harm the valve inside any more than it is because I want to show you how the littlest rip or tear in this diaphragm can cause a lot of degraded engine performance. Change of plans, YouTubers. These little tools, plastic's way too hard for those. Off to my Dremel tool. I'm gonna position this in a way, hopefully you can see it. Sorry about the actual sound of the Dremel tool. YouTubers, for the most part, I've got a good chunk of that top piece off. Again, I knew I was going to break this part. There we go. I'm going to blow this off a little bit. Okay. I have found the actual rip. Let me change camera directions. Alright, YouTubers, change the camera angle. And there's the plastic cover that I just ripped off. And here it is. Look at that. Let me just move the actual diaphragm. That's a major rip. And that is why this part has failed and our engine is bogging down and stalling at stop signs. And in order for this part to operate properly, common sense as you would all agree, that cannot rip. So as you can see, I'm just going to peel this back and inside is a spring I'll pull that out set that aside and there's the inside of it not much to it however this engine depends on this part to operate efficiently so hopefully youtubers this helps give you an idea of what this actual internal part looks like because in the event that you got that p0171 code and you also have that traction control alert on your instrument panel guess what this is what's causing it this internal pcv valve okay most of you probably don't care what it looks like inside however i just wanted you to see what it actually looked like inside so with that said 
if your engine is making a suction sound and earlier what we did is we talked about how you move your thumb over that square while the engine is running that square opening of this part in the event that it bogs down and makes a really loud suction sound when you plug that hole you know that internal part is trash and again it's not serviceable you can't just replace this part you have to go out and buy an entire brand new valve cover which is kind of a bummer because in most cases with other engines this part is only like three to five dollars however you have to go out and you have to spend fifty dollars on a new valve cover so with that said youtubers in the event that you are experiencing the traction control alert as well as the p0171 error code definitely check out the video link below in the description we're going to run you through the step-by-step -step process on how to remove this old valve cover and install a brand new valve cover and get that engine working properly again. So again, definitely check out those links below. We'll see you at the next video. That's it, YouTubers. Now we have a much better understanding of the PCV valve itself. From here, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching.